Hi, I'm Deb and I'm from Ready for Ten and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bunting. Um, the bunting I'm going to be showing you is going to be really simple and easily adapted to whatever size or material you've got lying around. I'm going to be using the um, wrapping paper, the pretty wrapping paper I use for another craft because it's, I'm trying to be thrifty and because um, it's just perfect for this. So all you need is, um, I've cut out a little template from a cereal packet I just drew it with a ruler, I didn't do any measuring, so I think it's probably a little bit wonky, but you might want to um, be a little bit more precise. And I cut out from two lots of the wrapping paper. It's double sided, so I've cut out both sides, so I want to use both sides. And then I just get some ribbon, this is really pretty thin ribbon from a craft store. And I've, I've, I'm just going to make a little bit of bunting today. Um, it's going to go around a welcome sign in our hallway. So um, you can make it whatever length you want. You can also use Rick Rack, for, um, which is the wavy trimming that you can get from any craft material shop. So and I've got a glue gun. Ah, and it won't reach. <laughs> so annoying. Right, so now I'm a bit more organised and I've got an extension cable and my glue gun is reaching. Um, obviously if you're doing this with children you're going to need to, super, to supervise them with these because the glue is hot. Um, so now I'm going to check what ones I have done and um, I'm just going to put, I've actually been putting the blobs of glue on the ribbon. Obviously if you want to be really precise, which I'm just not a very precise person, you can measure it all and have it all perfectly um, perfect measure you know spaces in between but that's just not me you've got to be careful with these glue guns they're amazing but and they dry so quickly but then you're left with all this stringy glue so um, just be aware of, of which ones you're using and how um, and then I'm doing mine in a pattern because I want I want them to be nicely spread out, the bits of paper, don't want the same pattern on each one. And uh, glue away. Honestly, these glue guns are fab. And I'll show you what it looks like from the other side. That's quite cool that, isn't it? I'm really pleased. That's lovely. You might have some blobs of glue, so just carefully pick those off. And I would recommend you use some really strong glue because you don't want them falling apart. If you're really, really fussy, you could then put another piece of ribbon on that side. But mine is... Ow, that's hot. Hot glue. I've got hot glue everywhere. Mine is only going to be shown on one side. But if you have got one that will be hung in the middle of the room, then you might want to do that. But this is great for decorating children's bedrooms or or wherever, just love bunting and to make your own fab. Happy gluing!